KMS, we call it Native Customer Master Key. So in that, of course, the key material is owned and generated by AWS KMS. Second one is the key material belongs to AWS KMS and cannot be exported by customers. So you cannot export the key material out because it is owned by AWS KMS. So you have to use that key material um, in a particular um, AWS region and account. You can cross-reference the keys across accounts, but you cannot take the key material out of AWS. Third is key material is unique to one region and account. So you can't have the same key material if you really want to in a different region or account. Last but not the least is that to pull a kill switch. Kill switch is an option you could think or imagine wherein that you, uh, you feel that or you encounter some sort of breach that is happening in your account and you really have to stop your business and do some forensics. So the only way you can do it is you have to delete the key. Uh, you could, could disable the key, but then that means that the key material is still living inside AWS. And if you um, have some indicators that it could be an internal attack, you have to delete the key. But in this case, if you delete the key, you cannot restore it because once the key is deleted, AWS does not let you bring the key back if it's uh, the key material is owned by AWS which also means that if you have data sitting in AWS that was encrypted by that key, you cannot restore that data because the key is gone. In order to counter those, um, uh, those attributes of uh, this approach, bring your own key offers you some advantages. So first one is you get to bring your own key material and you can securely generate that key material inside your FIPS compliant appliance, such as Fortanix self-defending key management service. Key material belongs to you and can be exported if needed. So if you are generating a key material outside, it's your choice. You can make market exportable. And if you want to take the key out, and if you want to use that key elsewhere in some of the solution or do some of the crypto, you are free to do that. Third one is key material is unique. However, it can still exist in different regions in different AWS accounts because it's your key material. And you are completely free to import that into different regions and different accounts and so on. So it opens up a lot of flexibilities for your deployment and high availability and multi-site deployment. When it comes to kill switch, it offers you a great benefit because when you bring in your key material, AWS lets you delete the key material only while keeping the key with its metadata uh, intact in AWS. So instead of deleting the key where you lose the key, you can simply delete the key material which guarantees that nobody can access your key because there is no key material. But once you have done your analysis and your forensics and you are ready to go back to business, you can re-import the key material back into the same metadata and all your data can be recovered because your data knows how to access the key by the key ID or the key ARN and everything stays intact. So that's the benefit of uh, having a bring your own key approach.